We're going to start by converting hexadecimal to decimal. We'll start with 3f. So this is our hexadecimal number. To start with, this needs to be split into two separate digits, f and 3. And we'll convert these individually to 4-bit binary numbers. We'll start with 3, which in our chart over here will be 0, 0, 1, 1. So under here, we'll write 0, 0, 1, 1. F will be more difficult, as we'll need a conversion chart. We can now see that F, if we look down our conversion chart with hexadecimal on the right and decimal on the left, that 15 is the same as F. So this is 15. This as a binary digit is 1, 1, 1, 1. So we'll write this underneath F. 1, 1, 1, 1. Our job then is to put this as one long 8-bit binary number. 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. This now will need to be converted into a decimal number. However, as opposed to having 1, 2, 4 and 8 with a 4-bit number, we will need to double this so we can fit in 8 bits. So 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 and 128. We can then write this number in here. Zero, zero, one, one. 1, 1, 1, 1. We will then add up, as there's two zeros here, 32, add 16, add 8, add 4, add 2, add 1. This we can now see would be 63. This was made slightly easier by the fact that there are all ones here, meaning it is one less than the column to the left. So our answer here, converting 3f to decimal, is 63. The common mistake that people make because 3 is worth 3 in the hexadecimal conversion chart and 15 would be worth F, that they would add 15 to 3 and come up with the answer of 18. As you can clearly see here, these steps need to happen in order for us to get the correct answer of 63.